Loosen up the top bolt, usually a six millimeter, maybe a five. Hold the handlebars with your body right here. Go ahead and twist, use two hands if you have to. Break it free. Another tool I like is the T-handle here. Got some length here so you get some good torque on it. Put that in there and I'm holding the handlebar with my body. Use some WD-40. Shoot it right about here. Let that fluid soak in. If you have to, let it sit a day. It may take an hour, who knows. Nice big old breaker bar. This one's a Craftsman. And then get yourself a six millimeter style socket Allen tool. Make sure that tool's nice and deep, sitting deep. Put some pressure down here. And if you need to, get a buddy, have him hold the handlebars. So this is my 12 o'clock. I'm gonna stick it over here at my nine o'clock. Lower my body, center of gravity. Brace the bar here with my body. The wheel is actually hitting your thigh. Grab two hands on it if I need to, break it free. Once you got your bolt pretty broken loose, unscrew it four or five revolutions. We don't wanna go too far and drop our wedge. It'll get stuck here be in our head tube. Just a few turns. Then you're gonna get something to tap this bolt down. If I don't have anything, I can use my Y tool here. Center your tool, give it a tap. That's gonna dislodge that wedge that's sitting inside your head tube. Once you do that, this guy will slide right up. Now like this here, we got some really short cables there. Short cables, we got a short front brake cable. I can't pull this all the way out right now. I don't wanna stress out my cables too far. So what you can do is, Unloosen your brake bolt. You're gonna unloosen this pinch bolt for the brake cable. If you have to, just go ahead and take the cable off completely. Once you buy yourself some more space, some more length, this guy should pull right up, just like that. So here's the wedge right there. This is the one we broke free. You're ready to put this back together. You're gonna put a fair amount of grease on your threads here. And then you got your, your wedge right here. You can see it's already full of grease, that's a good thing. You're ready to put it back together. You're gonna put this bolt through your quilt, your stem. Go ahead and get your wedge started. Twist that bolt. Just give it a few turns. You don't want this thing too tight. Go ahead and read this area right here. You're gonna have a minimum insert line. You either put it back to your old line if it's in the correct place. If you have a minimum line, you wanna follow that. You don't wanna go any higher than that. Sitting too high, like this would be way too high. Uh, it's gonna be unsafe. You need a lot of material down in the head tube so you have some stability. You have some adjustability, I like that right there. Once you find your spot, you may have to hold it in place. Go ahead and start tightening it. Don't worry about aligning it right now. It might be a little crooked. Let's just get it straight enough so it stays in place, doesn't fall on you or slide down. Once it's somewhat tight, get a little snug, then you can come and straighten up your bars as needed, left or right. Usually the best place to do this is put the bike on the ground Throw a leg over the top tube, sight down the middle. This is a pretty big frame, so hope I don't hurt myself. Yep, that bar's touching. So, you wanna look down the center of your stem, look down, sight down the middle, of, find the middle of your tire, and just eyeball that. Spend about five seconds on it. Spend longer than that, it's never gonna look straight. We're gonna hit, once you find that, we're gonna tighten that up. You can hold the handlebars. Tighten that up all the way. All right, using this torque wrench. Got the bars. I'm on the side of the handlebars right there, so I'm bracing it pretty good. Bracing the handlebars here, you're gonna grab, or if you need two hands, you can grab two hands. Grab at the lower portion, which is the black handle. You don't wanna be grabbing up here. You're gonna get a poor reading. So back over here, you can even brace the handlebars with your left hand. Go ahead and pull. And use some body, you just don't have to use bicep. Use your whole body, use your shoulder, twist it. Twist at the hips, as they say. And you're gonna go slow, and you're anticipating a click coming out of here, and also the head will pivot just so ever slightly. So you gotta pay attention to that. This will not stop for you, you have to stop the bar. So as soon as you hear your click and feel that pivot of the head, you are going to stop immediately. And this is set at 20 newton meters. Boom, right there. Once you hear and feel that pivot back off, you're gonna gently give it pressure just to double check you heard correctly. You can 
see that pivot right at the neck. So when you're all finished, you want to do one safety test here to make sure that your handlebars are still going to stay connected to your wheel. Go ahead and put place that wheel right between your legs. All those years using the Jane Fonda Thigh Master are going to pay off at this point. Keep that wheel straight with your legs. Move the handlebar to the left. Move it to the right. And we're seeing if the handlebar is going to slip or move and get out of alignment. If so, then we need to tighten that just a little more.